Hi gang. Um, thought I'd give you a little demo. I don't actually can't make it a very long demo of the uh, icon running under Win uh, under Linux. Yes, Linux software, uh, native Linux software. Um, this is actually going to be um, Grig, which I guess is short for Grig. Uh, new rig, whatever, uh, with the new software license. Anyway, um, you're not going to be able to read that really well. But anyway, the uh, I've got the parameters set up. I run it from the command line. You can also run it from a launcher. Um, I just have yet to create the launcher for Linux just right yet. So, um, about to fire it up. It's from the command line. And as you'll see, it kicked off the radio and gives me a little interface. And I've already preloaded some configs, so we're going to go get that. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Load state. And I already have these saved out somewhere. And maybe not in that directory. There we go. Icon rig states. Um, I loaded up uh, Shannon Volmet just uh, for an example. And it should load up here. And there you go. Now, the head unit automatically shuts off when the uh, apparently the software driver kicks on. So we're going to actually kill this, and now I can pop the uh, driver back on. And it seems to keep its independent state when you're using the head unit, which I thought was kind of interesting. It might be a feature, might be a hassle, I'm not sure. Okay, there goes the interface. We got rid of that. And now, pop it back on, and it's at a completely different frequency that I was playing with before um, we started the demo. Right. Anyway, um... Ooh. There are some fine tuning options via the interface here, but um, I'm not real well versed with them yet. Yes, I have to read the manual. Um, as soon as I know more, I'll maybe do a larger demo. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.